Well, hi, everybody. This is your stay-at-home grandma, and I'm making aloe, aloe vera hand sanitizer with alcohol from an aloe plant. I use gel alcohol. I mean, gel. Good morning. How is everybody? I'm doing fine. Good afternoon. I'm just, you know, I'm just crazy. Today. Anyway, let's make the point. So this I got. This my daughter got. Okay. I don't know where she went to get it. I'm sure she went to one of the farmer's markets and got it. Because I get the aloe vera, real aloe vera, from one of my seeds. Do I talk much? From one of my people that I order my stuff from. So I'm going to slice this open. Like this. Take this off. Be very careful when you're slicing it too because it is rather tough at first. So, and I have a bowl, so I'm gonna do this in the bowl. I should have sliced this a little bit more, to be dealt with a little bit more. Okay, so here it is. See this? I'm gonna slice this open. Now this thing right here, okay, be careful because it can stick you. Okay. I found that when I went to go pick it up. And I knew it, but I just, because I have aloe plants, but not this big. This, I guess, came from somewhere, I don't know. So what you're going to do, let me, let me. Just a little bit. Hope it didn't make too much noise for you. See what I'm doing. One thing about this is the alcohol and the aloe, it's natural, so it's fine. And if it gets a little bit thick when you're making it in the jar, just shake it up. I'm getting all the aloe out. And what I probably need to do is cut these dead on spiky ends out because I'm pulling with this. So that's what I'm going to do. So how's everybody doing? How's everybody holding up? I know it's hard, but Don't fret. God's got you. If you don't believe it, try believing it. Try putting your faith in him. Not man, but God. But anyway, I'm going to be coming on. I'm going to be doing a few things because I'm not bored because I'm always doing something at home. But people have asked me some things, so I'm going to start. I started with this. I made this hand sanitizer. And if you look at one of my my videos, you'll see it. But I made it with um, aloe from not the aloe plant, from the aloe plant, but it was already in a bottle. And it's aloe that I get. But I just wanted to show you how to make it just in case I couldn't find the other aloe. And also, you can make it with witch hazel too probably will not have the consistency that alcohol has, but um, you can make it with other things. And I will try to probably put that down there for you. So I gotta look it up on my book too because I forgot a lot of things. I didn't forget a lot of things. I just kind of like a tried and true alcohol girl and whatever, but there is some other things. So we're gonna throw this away. Then we're going to do this one now. Be careful again. I'm going to cut the spikes off next time now. And also be careful with this pear knife. This little pear knife is sharp. And I don't want to cut myself on YouTube. I have everybody go, oh my god, she's bleeding.
This makes a lot of um, aloe vera too. Cutting all this away. I'm trying to get as much aloe out of here as I can. So it doesn't want to come. It will come. There you go. Okay, so now, I think what I'm going to do. We got arthritis in your hand. Sometimes it's very difficult to do little things. I'm trying to cut these sharp burns away. That's what I'm trying to do. I think I did it. This could be the trash. Okay, let's cut this. So this came from Mexico. I guess I'm, I'm thinking that my daughter went to the farmer's market and got it, so. Got to file my fingers up like that. Like I said, be careful first when you're doing it. If you get this, because you might not be able to get the gel that's already processed, but I'm not sure. Might be able to. I don't know. You can probably get it on Amazon. I have reviewed a lot of people, so I got a lot of gel from them and other products. It is rather slimy, but that's okay because it has so many healing properties. For your skin. Okay, so I'm not this much for, for now. Okay, I just cut this little tree thing off. Get it in right here. Pull that away. Got away from me. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get wash my hands. Why do I don't know? I don't think I need to wash my hands. That feels good actually. Okay. This right here I'll put over in the bowl later. But right here, this is, this is what I have. Can you see that now? Okay. So I'm going to mash all that down and then I'm going to pour the alcohol in. Then I'm going to pour it into the bottle. So I don't know whether I even need all of this. So let me see. Let me get out. I did it.
and put in another bowl to mash it up in. Well, I, did, I put it in this bowl because I'm going to put it all in there. But I'm going to use this one to mash this all up. Now remember that it does kind of could gel back, gel back together again a little bit, but that's okay because you can just shake it up. My hand is killing me. Ah. But I won't let it stop. Mixed up pretty much. I think I'm gonna put this in a blender. Just give me one minute. I'll be right back. Well, I'm going right over there to the blender. Over there. Yep, over there. Can't see it. You'll see it when I get up. I'm gonna blend this real fast. Mm. You can always tell an example because either my knees or my hands bother me. And it's raining here, so. So I put this in the blender.
got this. Mm. Hard to sit sometimes, but we got this and we got this pretty much blend. So, I am going to wash this already and with hot water. This is my bottle. This is actually a measuring bottle. I'll put it in another bottle later, but this is the only one I had at the moment. So. This is the aloe vera that's still whole. But I'm going to put more aloe vera in there. So this is a, this is a, okay. Now this is the alcohol. Now this is the 50% alcohol. It'd be better if you got 70%, but I got what they had. So This is it. So that's two cups. Put this in here. Put this in there. And then shake it up. Now what I'm going to do is transfer it to, i got to get another bottle, but it's upstairs. This is the aloe vera gel that I got. But this has hand sanitizer in it already. From the last one I made, this, I made this with the Ecola. Um, skin care. I made this with this one and that was aloe vera gel. So anyway, if you like this, like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section. Again, you can get this at probably, I don't know about supermarkets. I do go to supermarkets, but I go more to the farmer's markets than I do the supermarkets. I get my, my meats and other staples from the supermarket. So I really have to look at, I don't think they have one in the supermarket that I frequent. It might have it in the other one. I go to order two supermarkets. I go to Acme and ShopRite, but I'm usually an Acme person. But they do have them at the farmer's market. And I'm going to finish this off. Um, if you like this, like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section. And I will talk to you later. I'm going to go take a nap. How about that? I'm all by myself today. All by myself. Oh, oh, oh. I love you all. Take care. God bless. Be safe. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.